Well, what is this thing called shape that Rick talks about? It's your design. God designed you to make a difference. Scripture says in Ephesians 2.10 that when God looks at you and I, he calls us a masterpiece. I think that's so incredible that God created everything in the world, but he also looks at us and says, you're a masterpiece. Now, there's days I don't feel like a masterpiece. There's probably days you don't feel like a masterpiece. But what matters is when God looks at us, he says, you're a masterpiece. And discovering your shape, your design, will help you start to see the masterpiece God created you to be. These five factors that we're going to look at real briefly, we're going to study again in depth as the weeks go on. So the S in the word shape stands for spiritual gifts. The Bible says many things happen to us when we accept Jesus Christ into our lives. One of the things it says is we receive gifts. Now, we don't know which ones they are because that's what we need to do is spend time with God and others and, help, and ask them to help us unwrap these gifts so we can put them into use for God's glory. There's over 20 different gifts in the New Testament, and you are gifted. You just need to take the time to figure out which gifts God has uniquely given to you to bring glory to Him. Now, the H in the word shape stands for heart. Right next to that word, passion. What gets you up in the morning? What are you excited about? What are you passionate about? What, as Rick says, what is the quiver in your liver? Come on, what are the things? There are certain things you are very passionate about. Who gave those passions to you? God did. And there's other things maybe you're not. Reminds me of a time about 13 years ago when my wife and I were just members here at the church, and we didn't have kids at the time, and they needed some people in the nursery. And so, you know, I thought, I can do that. I can go help in the nursery. And so I showed up on this Sunday morning. It was actually when the, we were all down in the portables, and we were actually in a tent for our main services. And so I showed up there, and the lady said, Eric, your role today is transportation. And I was like, okay, what's that? She says, well, when the babies get checked in, I'm going to hand the baby to you, and your job is to take the baby very carefully over to these wonderful people over here that are going to pray for the babies, care for the babies, feed the babies, change the babies. I'm thinking, I can do this. I can do transportation. I got that. So first baby comes over kind of the half door there in the, in the portable there. And I'm so excited because it's a boy and he's not crying. So I'm thinking, cool. So the lady hands this baby to me. And I turn and I'm holding the baby out like this. And his neck starts to go up into his head. And he's looking at me like, dude, you don't have a clue. And I, and I didn't have a clue. So as I turned to hand him to these wonderful people, I looked over his shoulder and this lady's like waiting for me to hand him. And I look down and he starts to drip. And I'm like, oh no, Pampers didn't come through. So I hand him back to the lady, turn around thinking, okay, here comes next baby. It's the lady. Uh, Eric, you know what? Why don't you just greet people at the door? We'll handle the rest. Okay, okay. So I went from transportation to greeter. That's okay. But you know what, friends? There were people in that room that loved to be with those babies. They prayed for them, they sang songs to them, they cared for them, they changed their diapers. They're probably still in the nursery today. Who gave them that passion for babies? God did. Maybe you're not passionate about babies, but what are you passionate about? And more importantly, are you using that passion in a way to bring glory to God? And as we travel the series together, we're going to look at what you're passionate about. The A stands for abilities. What natural abilities has God given you? You might have the ability to do sales, management, architecture, design, maybe play an instrument, maybe sing. That's great. We want to help you claim the things that God has given you and that, that you excel at. And so, you know, certain things we're good at and certain things that we're great at, we want you to figure out what those things are again so you can use them in a way to bring glory to the one that gave them to you, which is God. Now, the P in the word shape stands for personality. Personality. This is where we look to answer the question, how has God wired me? 
because we're all different. Now, some of you are more introverted, and some of you are more extroverted. Some of you are self-controlled, some of you are self-expressive. Some of you are very competitive, where some of you are kind of cooperative. Some of you love variety, and some of you love routine. I love it how God puts in a marriage routine and variety and kind of sits back and laughs. <laughs> I know, it's just in my marriage, but that's it happens. So spiritual gifts, heart, ability, personality. Lastly, the E is for experiences. Experiences. Now, friends, no matter if you were raised in the Beaver Cleaver household or the Munsters, God wants to use your past. He does, the positive and the painful. It's amazing to me. For years, I didn't want people to know that I was raised by an abusive, alcoholic father. I just didn't want to. I, did, I just wanted to forget about that time. But when I let it go to God, He brought a flood of people into my life that, you know what? that were raised by an abusive, alcoholic father. And it was so encouraging to me to say, gosh, God, you can use that to, to help me minister to this person as I sit across the table, maybe at Starbucks, just talking to them. Well, what's the thing in your life that you're thinking, I don't want anybody to know? God could never use that. Well, you know what? He can, and he wants to. And so as you join us in this series. My challenge is to you is that you jump in with both feet, that you give yourselves permission to think differently about yourselves. Be the masterpiece God made you to be, because the bottom line is this. You are designed by God to make a difference for God.